What I want to do today is just show you a different perspective. Okay? We've been doing a lot of research for the last two years. We've been looking at something that's called the free man um, uh, a position, if you like. And we've been looking at the, uh, a number of different ways, and a lot of people have brought a lot of information over the last two years to this. Um, it's basically a website, would you believe? That's what it is. Well, they've brought, me, they've brought me, basically, information that I've deciphered and decided to not accept the normal view of things. I've decided to question, and question in depth. And this is what you're about to see. As you see this at the moment, this is probably how you would see our country. Actually, I'm going to walk around here because it's easier. So as you would see our country, you would see there's a parliament, and then people in that parliament are meant to, meant to represent you because you elect them to do that. That's what you believe. You believe in politics. A lot of people believe in politics. You believe that the, party political, uh, the, par the political parties are elected in power to serve you, to make sure that everything in your country runs right, to make sure you're looked after. You believe that Acts of Parliament, statutes are laws, and you have to abide by these laws. That these laws are statutory instruments, this is how they're enacted. And they're laws as well that you have to abide by. You believe it, most people believe in the, the word a constitution, a constitutional set of laws made up of statutes. And you, people say to me, society's broken. Well, what I'm going to tell you today is it's not broken. It works exactly the way it was planned to work. Because this goes back hundreds of years. This is not something that's new. And there's courts of justice. How many people in this room have suffered at the hands of the courts of justice where injustice is actually happening? What I'm going to tell you today is that the members of parliament are actually directors of a corporation. That is what you're elected. And because you're only electing directors of a part, uh, corporation, nothing will ever change. It will go in the same direction forever. Because politics is not what you think it is. The members of parliament, anybody seen this before? This is Dun & Bradstreet. Do you know what Dun & Bradstreet is? All right. <laughs> if you were going to do business with a corporation or a company in the world, then you can use Dun & Bradstreet, which at the moment is about 160 million corporations worldwide. You can use these to find out if that corporation does good business. Does it have any debts? Has it got any uh, county court judgments against it? So what this is, is a register of corporations, of companies, and the members of parliament are a company. Gordon Brown is a company. David Cameron is a company. And this one I like. The Labour Party trade as Alistair Darling MP. <laughs> it's their trading name. It's just there. The reason they trade with Alistair Darling MP is because Alistair Darling is a diplomat. There's about three of them. If they trade in his name, that trading name has diplomatic status. That means they can bend things and do things that you don't know about. It's a whole different way of doing things. This is what politics is about. This is what you believe to be the people representing you are doing. But they're not. This is what they do. So we look at politics as pertaining policy, an administration of a government, a plan or a course of action. Also defined as a political party, corporation, written co co contract or a certificate of insurance. Acts of Parliament become statutes, primary legislation. You know what legislation is? You've heard this word, yeah? No? <laughs> Internal or enacted, enforced by statutory instruments, which are secondary legislation. Council tax is a statutory instrument enacted on the 1st of April 1993 under the primary legislation, the Local Government Finance Act of 1992. But when we look at a statutory instrument, we find it's a created, written, legal contract. It's not law. Where does it say it's law? Can you see it? 
society. So we're going to look at society and the contracts. Society, the socially dominant members of a community. Does this country have a socially dominant element who want to stay socially dominant? Right. It is a number of persons united by mutual consent in order to deliberate, determine and jointly act for a common purpose. Does that ring any bells? <laughs> Contract is an agreement between two or more persons that creates or modifies an existing relationship. Offer, consideration and acceptance must be, for a, be there or exist for a contract to be made. Then we look at a constitution, the fundamental rules, written or unwritten, which John explains earlier, that establishes the character of a government by defining the basic principles society must conform to. Do you have to conform to things? Do you? Do you pay tax? Oh, you don't. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> you were not given a choice if you wanted to join this society. It was made for you at the time when you could not express a choice. So when we look at the word statute, and I like this one, a legislative rule of society given the force of law by the consent of the governed. And I ask you please, if you could explain to me where in that definition taken from Black's Law Dictionary that that says that statute is law. The force of law, but it's not law. Right. I will get to that, not quite yet, but I will get to it. <laughs> From the neutral, you must, everybody must know this word status. Is what our society, that, what does it rely on? Status. Yeah? That's what we want to do, don't we? We want to be better in status. More money, bigger car, bigger this, bigger that, better in next door neighbour. That's the word, status. And it all comes from this. Status is the legal character of a condition or condition of a person or a thing. It's not real. It's imaginary. Okay? Completely imaginary. In the definition it actually shows that it's not law. It's only given, it's given the force of law, which means it will apply to you if you consent. What does the word consent mean? Exactly. So what happens when you don't agree? It isn't law. It can't be given the force of law. By its own definition, it only applies to a person and not a man or a woman. How many people in the audience today think they're a person? Oh, come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> The United Kingdom is a corporation. Now, up till February of last year, it was United Kingdom PLC. In February, and it's dissolved, and they've never, ever published their accounts. If you want to check that out, go on Companies House, because it's there. But on Dun & Bradstreet, they're now registered as United Kingdom Corporation Limited. Any corporation has employees. The employees are not just civil servants, they're all of you. Every one of you. If you have a national insurance number, that means you too are an employee. Com company policy of this corporation requires you as an employee to pay tax, follow all the legislative rules of that corporation, in this case, statutes. As in any company, if you break the rules, you will be disciplined under company, that company's legislation. 